The University of Kuala Lumpur will be looking to replicate what they did last season by winning their final match of varsity sports football 2018 when they take on the University of Johannesburg live at the UJ Stadium in Soweto this afternoon. And if they are able to accomplish that, it really will put a spanner in the works as far as the University of Johannesburg qualifying for the semi-finals for consecutive seasons. But if TUT win away from home and Northwest win against uh, the uh, the University of the Western Cape, then um, then it could be all sorts of things happening. Don't forget TUT uh, are on 10 points, UWC on 10 points, UWC are on 11 points, or Northwest University on 11 points. First uh, foul of the game, and uh, there'll be a free kick. Oh, a goal in any one of the matches could really be very, very crucial indeed. University of the Western Cape looking to qualify. Don't forget University of Johannesburg. Yes, there's a goal that comes from the free kick. And a little bit sloppy from the goalkeeper, I thought, but the captain, Lungani Klingetwa, is a 25-year-old honor student, has belted it past Alan Mapuza, and UKZN are in front. I'm rather surprised they went in the net, and uh, Alan Mabuza must take a bit of responsibility for that. And Klingetwa, one goal, and we're only five minutes into this one. But in possession now, and the shot on the turn. Is uh, wide of the goal of Radebe. Again, very strong. Look at the combination from Makubela trying to find Lipiri in the middle of the pack, and the 10. It was something different, caught them by surprise. Unfortunately, couldn't hit a target from them. All across the area, space for a shot from Bokazi. This is a second goal for UK ZN. That could have been game set and match for UJ. It might be anyway, with the scores that have come through from the other venues. Another long throw from Kiza with the flick. From, but again, it was from Bokazi to try and slot it with his inside foot. Unfortunately, good defending from Sichuan Kizer. Nice turn here from Zulu. Still holds onto the ball. Nice defense as well from Sebetela. And now Lungani in Klingetwa. That's going to be a free kick for UKZN. And looking a bit surprised in the middle of the park there was uh, specifically Mbele. Fancy him, Klingetwa's going to have a little dart here. Why not? Oh, comes back with the crossbar. Space for another one. Is he on side? I think he is. Is that Zulu that scores? I think it is. Off the bench, Bongo Manzi Zulu has made it 2 0 for UKZN. And surely now, UJ's vain, ho vain hopes of making the semi finals are dashed. Two free kicks, two goals. push by Tabang Lepese. UK ZN growing in confidence. This is uh, Zulu once again. Basiak with a clearance. Nice ball from Zulu. Mbewana. Just wide. Again in Mbewana trying to slot it in the far post but unfortunately couldn't hit the target. Last week they lost to Tax by three goals to lose. Maybe they want to advance the same scoreline. Sebetela once again. This time the header will go in the back of the net and pull one back here. With Leponi Lepiri finally finds the back of the net. A UJ supporters have found their voices in the 78th minute. Finally, Lepiri managed to get the better off. The, but again, it's Betela's crossing. Sebatella, McKay across the face of goal and wide. Again, Kevin, you could tell that for UJ we can play another 30 minutes. They can't get that much needed goal. UJ, who uh, made the semi-finals last season before losing to Vitz in the semis, bow out of the competition, not making the semis in 2019. UKZN did what they did last season. And that was to win the final match of the campaign. And that's exactly what they've done away from home at the University of Johannesburg in Soweto in today. Goals from uh, Lungani and Klingetwa and Zulu for UKZN. See the KZN side beating UJ by two goals to one. 